Inna alhamdulillah. Indeed, all praise is due to Allah. We praise Him, seek His assistance, and ask His forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils of our own souls and from the evil consequences of our actions. If Allah guides someone, none can lead that person astray. And if Allah leaves someone to stray, none can guide him. I testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone, without any partner. And I testify that Muhammad is Allah's worshipping servant and messenger. People of Iman, observe taqwa of Allah as he rightfully deserves by fulfilling his commands and avoiding his prohibitions and do not die except submitting to Allah and Islam. Mankind, observe taqwa of your Lord who created you from a single person and from him created his spouse and then spread from the two of them multitudes of men and women. Observe taqwa of Allah by whom you make requests of one another and do not sever ties of kinship. Indeed, Allah is always watchful over you. People of Iman, observe taqwa of Allah and speak words that are correct. If you do so, Allah will guide you to perform righteous deeds and He will forgive your sins. When a person obeys Allah and His Messenger, He will achieve the greatest success. Indeed, the best speech is the Book of Allah and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad. May Allah grant him commendation and protection. The worst things are those which are innovated and then claimed to be part of Islam. All such innovations are classified as bid'ah and all bid'ah is misguidance. My dear audience, I counsel all of you as well as myself to observe taqwa of Allah by fulfilling His commands and avoiding His prohibitions. When people observe taqwa, Allah protects them and grants them salvation. The instruction to observe taqwa was given to all people from all generations. As Allah said, we most certainly commanded the people of scriptures prior to you as well as you yourselves to observe taqwa of Allah. Dear Muslims, Allah sent His Messenger with guidance and the religion of truth in order for that to prevail over all other paths, even if that may be detested by those who reject Allah or worship others besides Him. Allah's Messenger was keen to have people devote all worship to Allah alone without any partner. Furthermore, he strove for that worship to remain protected from the impediments that existed during the era of ignorance prior to Islam. That was done to ensure the happiness and salvation of his followers in this world and the hereafter. Servants of Allah Amidst the light of guidance imparted by our Prophet, may Allah grant him commendation and protection, there is a momentous hadith that is a foundation in the realms of remembering that Allah always sees us, fulfilling the rights we must fulfill towards Him, placing full trust in Him, relegating all matters to Him, establishing His tawheed by worshipping Him alone without any partner, and maintaining the unwavering belief that all created beings are incapable on their own and always in complete need of Him. Al-Imam Ahmed and At-Tirmidhi collected that Abdullah ibn Abbas said, One day, while riding behind the messenger on the same animal, he told me, Young man, I shall teach you some words. Be dutiful to Allah, and Allah will protect you. Be dutiful to Allah, and you will find Him in front of you. Whenever you ask, ask of Allah. And whenever you seek help, seek help from Allah. Realize that if everyone came together to benefit you in any way, they would not benefit you except with what Allah had written for you. And if they came together to harm you in any way, they would not harm you except with what Allah had written against you. Realize that if everyone came together to benefit you in any way, they would not benefit you except with what Allah had written for you. And if they came together to harm you in any way, they would not harm you except with what Allah had written against you. The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. The narration collected by Ahmed also contains the addition, Make yourself known to Allah with obedience in times of ease. 
When you do that, He will know you by granting you relief and support in times of adversity. You must further realize that perseverance and bearing what you may dislike contains much good. That support comes with perseverance. That relief comes with adversity. And that with every difficulty, there is ease. These are comprehensive and enlightening prophetic words of counsel. They show the magnificence of the path that Islam teaches, which is founded upon worship of Allah and maintaining a constant, strong connection with Him. That is what allows a person to draw strength from the one who owns all might. Servants of Allah, the foregoing are words that you must strive to remember and comply with. Doing so will benefit you in mundane matters, religious matters, and matters of the hereafter. O oh Allah, we implore you to grant us sincere, sound beliefs and certainty that is complete. We implore you to grant us blessings that are continuous, grant us unending happiness, make us pleased with your decrees, grant us a tranquil life after death, and grant us the delight of looking at your face. I say this much and I implore Allah to forgive myself as well as all of you. All praise is due to Allah, the Almighty. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone without any partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad is Allah's worshipping servant and messenger. He conveyed Allah's message, fulfilled all duties entrusted to him, and conveyed sincere counsel to his followers. May Allah grant continued protection, accommodation to his messenger, the messenger's companions, and who follow their path. At the present time, we feel much happiness for Allah having granted recovery to our nation's crown prince after a successful operation that he underwent. We implore Allah to bless him with health and well-being and to grant him much care in his capacity as the deputy for the custodian of the two holy mosques. May he be granted continued strength in Allah's obedience. Servants of Allah, Allah has granted our nation's leadership the blessings of referring matters of governance back to the Quran and Sunnah upholding criminal penalties prescribed by Islam, and striving to maintain justice among the public at large. Those factors produced various fruits, including the fact that Allah spread safety, prosperity, and stability across these lands and opened for them treasures from the earth below and blessings from the sky above. Thus, Allah deserves all praise in the beginning and the end, both inwardly and outwardly. It is due to such factors that opponents have schemed to attack the nation's reputation, its leaders, its scholars, and its people in general. Yet, despite the ferocity of those attacks, we still witness Allah's care for our nation such that He eventually leaves those opponents forsaken and turns their plots against them. O oh Allah, we beseech you to protect our religion for us, to keep us steadfast in adhering to it until we meet you, and to protect the land of the two holy mosques against all ills and harms. In conclusion, remember the instruction Allah gave us when He said, Indeed, Allah grants His commendation to the Prophet and the angels invoke Allah to grant Him even further commendation. People of Iman invoke Allah to grant the Prophet commendation and to grant him protection as well. O Allah, grant commendation to Muhammad and the family of Muhammad 
just as you granted commendation to Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim, indeed, you are most praiseworthy, most glorious. O oh Allah, grant blessings to Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, just as you granted blessings to Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim, indeed, you are most praiseworthy, most glorious. O oh Allah, be pleased with your messengers, rightly guided successors, Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, and Ali. O Allah, be pleased with them as well as all of the other companions of your messenger. O Allah, we implore you by your favor to be pleased with us along with them. O Allah, grant strength to Islam and those who submit to you in Islam. O Allah, grant us safety and tranquility in our nations. O Allah, we implore you to grant your forgiveness to the people of Islam and Iman, the living and the deceased. O Allah, grant cure to our ailing and all the ailing among those who submit to you in Islam. O Allah, grant your protection to our medical personnel and all who assist them. O Allah, grant them continued direction. O Allah, you are the one who is the most merciful, we beseech you to relieve us of this pandemic. O Allah, grant your support to our troops who defend the borders of our nation. O Allah, we beseech you to grant us rainfall. O Allah, grant us good in this world, grant us good in the hereafter, and protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Servants of Allah, bear in mind that Allah instructs you to do all that is just and correct, and He prohibits you from all that is unjust and obscene. The dhikr of Allah is greater than all else, and Allah always has complete knowledge of everything that you do.